Most of the time when you're working in SketchUp, you'll want to stay in perspective mode because this is how our eyes see. Things that are further away from us appear to diminish in size. Parallel projection is necessary for creating plans, elevations, and sections. And in parallel projection, objects retain their actual size in the distance. You can switch into this mode from the camera menu. Or if you're using my keyboard shortcuts, you can press J to toggle between parallel and perspective. Let's say I want to create an elevation. I'll switch into parallel projection and orbit around. It would be pretty tricky to get this perfect as an elevation just by eyeballing it by orbiting. Let's try using one of the preset views. We'll go up to the camera menu and choose standard views front. And we have kind of a strange look here because this particular building is not oriented square to the axes. The site is askew with respect to the red and green axes. So the front view isn't really the kind of elevation that I want. Instead, what I can do is click on a surface that's within that elevation plane. Right click and then choose Align View. Now I'm looking dead on in an elevation. I can then pan over and zoom in to create an elevation. I can press J to create a perspective elevation. Two-point perspective is also available, and this is most useful for tall buildings or when you're looking up at a structure. I'll orbit around, so I'm looking up at this residence. This can make for a more imposing or impressive view of the structure. Zoom in a little bit more. And if you look closely, you'll see that this wall seems to have a stair-stepping pattern on it, which is occurring because the wall is angling inward slightly. Now this effect is very subtle here because we're just dealing with this residence. If this was a high-rise building, the effect would be very pronounced. We can correct this by switching into two-point perspective mode. It automatically makes all of the verticals completely vertical. And it says two-point perspective up here in the corner. You can pan the perspective around simply by dragging to compose a more pleasing view. And you can also zoom in and out. If you try to orbit, you're going to switch back into three-point perspective automatically, and this identifier disappears.